So the experiment today is about the identification of uh, alcohol by what is called uh, qualitative organic analysis. So we have primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, tertiary alcohol, and we are going to react uh, all of them with uh, the Lucas reagent. Lucas reagent. Yeah. Yeah. And see what happened. Okay. Yeah. So it's so identification of primary, secondary, and tertiary, tertiary alcohol, alcohols yeah, yeah. with Lucas. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So, I have here this one is labeled ethanol. Ethanol is a primary alcohol. Ethan ethanol. Ethanol, primary alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Then you have two propanol, which is also called isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol, yeah, also which is called two propanol. Yeah. Two propanol or yeah. isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. Which is a secondary alcohol. It's a secondary alcohol. And tert butyl alcohol, which is a tertiary alcohol. Tert tert butyl alcohol or tert butanol butanol. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tertiary alcohol. Tert yeah. butyl alcohol or tert butanol. Okay, yeah, it's a tertiary alcohol. So what we do first, we are going to add one milliliter of uh, this alcohol, one milliliter of ethanol here, one milliliter of uh, two propanol here, yep. and one milliliter of third butyl alcohol here. Okay. So a little bit in both. You said one each, one milliliter each, or? One milliliter each. Yeah. One milliliter each of those three alcohols. In each test tube. Okay, so primary, secondary, and the tertiary. Yeah. You're gonna use plurinch? Yeah, yeah. I okay. have to use plurinch, yeah. Very easy to measure one milliliter. Yeah. Cool. Start with first one. Uh, never pipe it out of a container. Yeah. You always pipe it out of a small beaker. So you pour it in the beaker first so first, you don't yeah. contaminate it. Yeah. I will do that first for all of them. Now the third beaker, third butyl alcohol. First one. Alright. Uh, which is uh, ethanol. Ethanol. Take like that. Test tube number one. Test tube number one. One milliliter. Alright. Can I see the liquid? Yeah. Right down there, one one milliliter. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Then the second one. This should be isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. And that's cool. the test tube. Secondary alcohol. Yeah. Blue range is very cool. Huh? Very cool. You see. 
And that's uh, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing right. alcohol? Yeah. 2 propanol. 2 propanol. And then, third one. Some turt butyl alcohol, and they all look the same. They're all clear liquids, yes. but the chemical structures are really different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we have one, two, and three. Yeah. So now, yes, for Lucas reagent. There is the Lucas reagent. Let's double check. You got the right one. Yeah. It's Lucas reagent. So zinc, zinc chloride. Zinc chloride. I wrote zinc yeah. chloride in HCl. I eh? wrote that on yeah, board yeah. level. Zinc chloride in HCl. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we do the same process, but because it is a uh, zinc chloride, so I, I can uh, pipe it from here, no problem. This has to be 5 milliliter mm -hmm. in each test tube, mm -hmm. 5 milliliter. So, we go first with 3. So, you need five total, so it'll be three and two? Yeah. All right. So you did three. And now two. And now two. Any, di any uh, difference in appearance? Uh, not change? yet. Okay, yeah. so it's still, yet, yeah. still colorless, yeah, yeah. transparent liquid, yeah. yeah. Put this one here. We go with the second one. Same process. First three. First three, then two. Yeah. And then two. Still looks kind of colorless. Uh, transparent. Yeah. And then the third one, the same thing. Three. Three. And then two. And then two. All right. Still yeah. looks kind of colorless. Yeah. They all look kind of colorless. Yeah. So, uh, what you do now? Shake them. Shake them up. Yeah. Yeah, no, no big difference. So yeah. it's right that's that, yeah. Number one. Number two. Number two. Shake it up. Shake it up. Yeah, it looks kind of. Uh, is there any precipitation or no? It's no, not yet. Okay. And the tertiary, that's, you see. Tertiary looks a little milky, but it's a little maybe insoluble, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's just. Is it kind of. Oh, is it like two layer or is it. No, that's the uh, alkyl halide. Oh, it's the alkyl halide. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, cool. All okay. Right. So, let that set a couple of minutes, then we go to... Okay, well, we'll um, sit a couple of minutes and go to the yeah, board. Go to the board, yeah. Okay. Okay, first for Lucas Legends. Lucas. Oh, you missed the L. It's CHL. Oh. oh. There you go. All right, yeah. All right. The 12 molar this year. So it's kind of concentrated, yeah? Yeah, that has to be there. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, let's start with the... Turf beetle alcohol. Turf beetle alcohol. Yeah. I like that thing. Now, I need to explain what happened. Okay. You have three steps. First step. Step one. Activation. Of the alcohol. Activation of the alcohol? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Done. The oxygen lone pair attacks the zinc, zinc. and kind of connects to it. Yeah, it's because the, the zinc is a Lewis acid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Eh? Well done. Yeah. You also have HCl too, but yeah. And, uh, I'll speak about yeah, HCl yeah. later because yeah. sometimes students are a little confused. So yeah. what you have here will be C Does it, uh, I think, wouldn't the zinc be negative or or would a chloride be kicked off or something? Because if you have neutral plus neutral, it should make something that's net neutral. I think if you just write a negative on the zinc, it, yeah, yeah. yeah, just write negative on the zinc. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got, you got it. Yeah, because you have that. Yeah. Uh, you have that and that. Yeah. Yeah, I will put that here. Yeah, and then it cancels out. Yeah. Positive, so, yeah. yeah. So now it's neutral plus neutral makes something that's net neutral. That's yes. net neutral, yeah. So that was the first step. Yeah. You need to activate the alcohol. Second step. Yeah. Formation. Formation of the carbocation, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I need to write that back case better. Yeah, or just, no, no, just go from there and go down, you can go down or uh, something. Uh, just go, yeah, just draw the arrow. That's like that? Uh, no, just go, uh, well, they understand, no. it's a step two. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. But, uh, or, because I wrote that yeah, here, yeah, yeah. I need to. So, uh, this one, there's here, two oxygen. Yep. Okay. 
And what you have Yep. And here we have a plus charge. Yep. Plus, don't forget. Yep. H. Mm. Okay. Here. Technically, there's still a negative charge on zinc. Yeah. 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 Just right, right there. Right 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 yeah. Because the chloride can fall off and take a negative with it, but but that's fine. That, that that's totally correct. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So that's so I hear you remember. Yeah. But remind you, an uh, SN1. Yeah. Okay, it's good. That. SN1 reaction. Yeah. yeah. Now, third step. So now, we have to be careful here. And we go back here. So here, we have to be careful because it's a concentrated. HCl. Mm -hmm. The Cl minus does not come from that. Yeah. The Cl minus comes from HCl. From HCl. Yeah. yeah. See a lot, lot of that. HCl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, that's, that's understood. I think they have a lot of HCl. It's 12, yeah. 12 molar. Yeah. Yeah. So. Just write Cl minus. Cl. Yeah. Looks good. Okay, you have the minus here. Yep. So, I repeat, the CL minus comes from HCl. Yeah. It is not from the zinc chloride. Yeah, because there's very little of that. Yeah, yeah. The zinc, you have okay. a, lot a lot of HCl, of 12 molars, a yes. ton of HCl. So, so, and as we usually do, okay, this one comes over here. Perfect. And you have a product here, which is and this one is just called terbutyl chloride. I write that up here. Terbutyl chloride. Terpetyl chloride. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So you have the alkylate directly with the tertiary alcohol because the tertiary alcohol does build a, a very stable carbocation. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to test you. Yeah. Yeah, the tertiary carbocations are very stable, uh, much more see, than primary or secondary. The tertiary alcohol, and you see directly it's chlorine you have white milky up. material. That's so that that's evidence that the reaction occurred. Okay. Because it, it, now you have like an organic product that's not an alcohol, because the alcohol might be water soluble. And that's an alkyl halide, which and, is yeah. that. So that's evi evidence of a tertiary alcohol. Yeah. Evidence of a tertiary alcohol. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, so here you have the test tube 
containing the secondary alcohol. Secondary, which is uh, ethanol, right? Which is a uh, ethanol. Or secondary is isopropyl. Isopropyl alcohol or Iso two propanol. Two propanol. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, as you can see here, it is not really cloudy. So there is a reason for that. The secondary alcohol, okay, although it does uh, provide uh, carbocation, the uh, carbocation is not as stable as with uh, tertiary alcohol. So what we can do here, we need some energy to have the alkyl halide. Cool. And what I'm going to do, I will take a beaker. I already prepared here, we are going to warm that. Cooking some water. Yeah. It's a steamy yeah. little water. hot bath. Yeah. Yes, some hot water. Hot water. 80, 80, 80, 70 degrees, 50. Yeah. yeah. See what happens. I mean like that here. Let me see what happened after a couple of minutes. I'm excited. I think it might turn white. We'll see. Yeah. You have to shake it around? Yeah. And? Okay, and then we have the primary one, yeah? Primary. Nothing will happen here, as you can see. Yeah. It's totally colorless. Because, totally colorless. Yeah. Because primary alcohol do not uh, make uh, carbocation. Yeah, primary carbocations are extremely unstable. Stable, yeah. And so, so something like, like ethanol will definitely not be a positive uh, yeah. Lucas test. Lucas bridge. Let me just wait. Just wait a bit. Okay. Alright, so we're going to let this sit a little bit, and then we're going to go back to the board. So phenol do not react uh, with uh, Lucas reagent. Okay? We react with what is called uh, ferric chloride. Ferric. To check if you have uh, phenol, you need to do what is called a ferric chloride test. Ferric chloride, iron, iron chloride. Ferric yeah. Chloride. Test. I know a positive uh, ferric chloride test, which is basically that. FPCA. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, okay. And but the uh what about the uh the primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols? Do, are they negative with the ferric chloride test? Yeah, negative with ferric chloride. Yeah. So, okay. So, cool. All right. Um yeah, sounds good. So, now, what happened? What I have to tell you. Now, the uh, alcohol is here. Right. What you have is the following. Okay. Now you have that. Charge. I mean that here 
Well, that has to be 3 minus. The complex is 3 minus. Because mm -hmm. it's negative 3. Oh, sorry. I'm not done yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Plus 3 SCL. You have a minus here. Okay. Plus 3 S plus. Minus 3. Three plus charge here, mm -hmm. and then you have to have six components. So you're balancing it out, okay? Yeah. So you start with six phenols, one FeCl3. That would make sense now that you have six of the phenoxides, uh, the iron, and three HCls, and three protons out. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty crazy equilibrium or a uh, uh, balanced equation. Yeah. yeah. So what is important for you to know here is this one is a bowlet complex. Oh, the violet. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll go back to the hood. Yeah. And we do that, and you will see the violet complex. Yeah, see the violet complex, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we, we just uh, um, kind of drew out what that structure looks out like, uh, the violet thing. And it's got an iron with six of these phenoxides, the benzene with the yeah. oxygen, and probably something like this, three-dimensionally. And uh, there's like six different s sites. And when you have all six of them on, the, the overall char uh, charge of that whole complex is negative three. Yeah. And then, uh, so that's, a, that's pretty much what you're going to see is the violet yeah. complex. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we're, we're back to the secondary alcohol that should uh, be positive with the Lucas. Yeah, but you see it's coming it's, slowly. It's, it's slowly. You can see a little bit of a... Let me see. A little bit of a precipitation or something, yeah. but it's it's uh, being a little sluggish. So we're gonna let it keep cooking. We get some yeah. fresh hot water yeah. with a secondary alcohol. Yeah. Luke, Lucas test. Phenol. Okay, so now you got some phenol. We're yeah. gonna try the ferric chloride test. So phenol. Ferric chloride is already prepared. So you made some fresh ferric chloride in water, or? Yeah, I put two gram of yeah. uh, uh, ferric chloride yeah. in 200 milliliter of water. Okay, so it's just basically iron trichloride in water. Yeah. Ferric chloride. Cool. So here is the test tube. All right, so you got a fresh test tube labeled phenol. Got it. Yeah. So I'm going to add one milliliter of uh, phenol. Okay. And that's it. One milliliter of phenol into the test tube. Okay. Yeah. And now I'll put a drop of. Just gonna add a couple drops, make sure we can see it. Yeah. Once I put a stone over here, I can see it better. Yeah. Um, Alright. Oh, look at that. See? That's your complex. That's that weird uh, right, that's iron the, yeah. phenol complex. Yeah. With the six phenols around iron. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, go. Let's go there. Whoa. Okay, this complex here, which is grown also here, is violet, and you see that's with the test yeah. tube. That's you really cool. Very cool right? All right. That's very cool. Yeah. So th this is an example of inorganic chemistry, kind yeah. of. It's. Uh, because it's based on iron, um, so <laughs> yeah, they took yeah. inorganic
Yeah. Advanced Inorganic Chemistry Lab, mm -hmm. you'd be doing stuff like and this And that's, that's, uh, that's a complex, I don't think they do that in the first semester. Yeah? No, I don't. Now you need to, yeah, yeah. to be in a very high semester to start to do yeah, the complex. Yeah, that's pretty but cool. But you see that you have a complex here, violet. Beautiful purple complex. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so now we're looking back at the secondary alcohol with the with the Lucas test. If you look carefully, there are uh, little white little white bits in there, and that is probably you know the stuff. Yeah. The uh, it's not, but it's not as profound as the tertiary alcohol, which yeah. is expected. So because uh, yeah. uh, secondary alcohol does not rebuild. Uh, uh, Stable carbocation. Yeah. So, like, so, uh, it, but, it's, but, yeah. but it's much better than primary. Primary is completely negative. Yeah. So, so yeah, you get a little bit of a little bit of a mild precipitation, but but not as profound as tertiary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we we just uh, tried the. Uh, isopropanol again from and scratch. Okay, and we cooked it up and look at that. So it actually worked. The, yeah. the uh, Lucas test is positive the second time. So if you ever have a, a weird result, you just do it again and maybe it'll work the second time. So there, there it is, the nice positive Lucas test. See, that's, yeah. that's your alkyl halide here. It's the alkyl halide yeah. from isopropyl alcohol yeah. turned to 2 brom bromo or chloro? Bromo. Oh. No, chloro, chloro. Two chloro. Two chloropropane. Propane, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Cool. That works. See, that's really good, eh? No, it's a very positive result. Yeah. Good. Yeah. We use first the isopropyl alcohol of this container. Yeah. And it did not seem to work. Yeah. Then we change. Yeah, that one, right? And we use this one here. Yeah. That's funny, yeah. Uh, and you have positive result. So maybe something's wrong with the other one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. If you have something like that in the lab... Yeah. Usually you throw away the bad stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it means that... Uh, There's some contamination or something. This one is no more good. Yeah. You have two possibilities. Yeah. That may be isopropanol. Or that may not be isopropanol too. Yeah. Okay, that may be isopropanol with uh, uh, a lot of contamination. Or it could be like maybe dilute isopropanol, like like uh, yeah, seventy percent isopropanol versus like ninety five percent or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, because but when I use when I use for example uh, ethanol, I use the two hundred proof. 200 proof, so that's the high quality. 200 proof basically means about 100%. Yes. Yeah. So. So, you see? That's cool. It and works. For this one, yeah. you change, yeah. and you have very positive result. Yeah. So I recommend we dispose of the old. The, the bottle that looks dispose, nice. Yeah, that's might, not good. We are going be, to. Uh, Garbage, garbage. Yeah, that's no. That's going to go to the uh, waste. Waste. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay.